Hello and welcome to Mustaq Kunnur Academy. In this video, we shall discuss how to create a schematic and layout of plus or minus 12 volt regulated power supply using 7812 IC and 7912 IC. As we can see that this circuit consists of a transformer and a rectifier module along with 7812 and 7912 with the input capacitor and filter capacitors. Now let's construct this using drip trace software. I have already opened a drip trace software schematic. Now as we have seen in circuit diagram, first we have to select a transformer. In order to select transformer, just press T here. Once you press T, we will directly go to transformer module here. Here select transformer pulse THT. We will find the different types of transformer, but here we have to select the center tap step down transformer center tap step down transformer just let's select that transformer here we need center tap transformer yeah we can select this one or we can also select this one based on convenience i select this transformer that is remember this pe 65770 nl just place that once we select the transformer we need rectifier module here just press d then we will go to bridge rectifier module based on the requirement we have to select the rectifier module since i am using since i have a hardware component that is dbl 201G which is of rectangular type the same type of module I am going to select here select this component and place here in order to deselect this component just right click on the this workspace now I have to select the modules 7805 just type here in order to select that go to library once again I will show you go to filter select all library and enter it as 7805 instead of finding this separately we are directly search we can directly search that component here in this library yeah yeah different components are going to appear on my left hand side that is below this component list we have to select the component as per our requirement because the same components same component number having different type of physical structure once this filter is over then we will select yes we are done with this just look at this numbers and the pattern yeah I am going to select this one LM7805 ABP LM7805 ABP once you select that place that component here and we also need 78 Oh, sorry for this. Uh, we are constructing 7812. We should not select this. We have to select 7812 instead of. Yeah, let's select it as 7812. Apply filter. let it progress minimize this <coughs> yeah once this components are filtered now i have to select 7812 this is the 7812 just click on 7812 and place that component here place the component here 7812 now I will search 7912 just type 7912 here apply filter Seven nine one two. we are searching for 7912 
and depend on the computer speed this filter progress times takes place now once the components are filtered we have to select the proper module yes here this is 7912 once we have selected this 7812 and 7912 we need capacitors as we have seen this in circuit diagram we need electrolytic capacitor let's see this in circuit diagram at input side we need two electrolytic capacitor and two ceramic capacitor let's select the capacitors in this just go to general ipc go to capacitor and we need four capacitors here yes and rotate this rotate this two capacitors here and rotate these two capacitors yes then we are almost done with this we also need net port which is of ground symbol i am going here go to net ports go to ground yeah now we will make the connection we have to make the connection as per this circuit diagram yeah here we can also observe that <coughs> rectifier module is having ac input and dc output let's rotate this yeah now i will make the connection Tra output of transformer should go to the input of this rectifier module here we need one more ground simply go to yes We have connected this to ground. Then connect this capacitor to pin number one, and this should be should go to input of D module seven eight one two module. Then connect this to ground. now connect this to ground we are done with the upper part likewise you should also connect the input one the same output of this capacitor it goes to the capacitor c2 and c4 let's rotate this make connection from here go to the input and it should go to the output of capacitor input and output of capacitor and we have to also connect this to ground yes we are done with this connection once we are done with this connection now it's time to convert this schematic into the layout in order to convert this schematic into layout just simply go to file and go to convert to pcb click okay yes we have to arrange this component accordingly as we have explained uh, or as i have explained in previous video since we are having top layer and bottom layer in order to arrange the component we should select the top layer i am selecting this components and arranging it accordingly we should try to create the more optimum pcb so that it can so that it can save more space on your board arranging this components accordingly yes we can also rotate this one <coughs> so that we can avoid the overlapping of the components yes just rotate this transformer actually we don't need these three pads of transformer let's uh, remove these three pads in order to remove these three pads just right click on it and click on 
ungroup component and remove this simply remove this components or pads and resize this box or else just remove this box rectangular box which is no more needed in this layout just simply delete this instead of that we can also draw a box around it yeah go to here okay yes once again just select this component right click on it right click on it and group this Yeah, once we are done with this, now I will make the connection. Now it is time to convert this rat line into the traces. That in order to draw the trace, just go to route manual and draw the traces. Before going into traces, drawing the traces, just rotate this rectifier module. Yes. Now I will draw the trace. Click on trace. Route manual. Click on OK. Here on my left hand side, we can see that we can also select the segment width. I am selecting it as 1 mm or I can we can select it as 1.5 mm based on requirement. Uh, one more important thing before drawing these traces, we must switch it from top to bottom layer. Once you click on the bottom layer, we can see that we are the only the rat lines are going to highlight it here not the pattern now draw this accordingly make sure that it should not be 90 degree it should be 45 degree draw this neatly then from capacitor C1 to C2 and this must be connected to ground yes Now the final connection here yeah we are done with this layout it looks really good now once we are done with the layout it's time to draw a border to this circuit in order to draw the border just go to this border place border outline and simply draw a border around this circuit simply draw this border around this circuit and in order to make this rectangular box uniformly just right click on this go to board point and here select this as a rectangular box and select the width the width i am going to select here it has 60 no not 60 is not sufficient make it 65 yes 65 is okay then go to height height we have to enter in the negative number enter it as minus 45 minus 40 yes click ok yeah we are done with this box which is uh, uniform in uh, all the sides oh sorry we are left with one more connection we have to draw one more connection here let us draw this yes now once we draw this we have to check the verification check the design rule 
if there is a error then it will throw an error which which we should eliminate before going to fabrication now once you are done with this now it's time to draw a copper pore just click on copper pore and draw a copper pore as per this border yeah once you draw the copper pore the select this pouring as a fill solid fill connectivity this is important the net we have different types of net here to which net i have to connect my copper pore that's a big question the question of this answer we find here in the schematic here we can see that the ground is connected to the net number let's see it is net number 2 it is connected to net number 2 simply go to layout again once again go to connect select the net 2 and click border depending on border click okay once we are done with this we can see that here we are done with the layout of plus or minus 12 volt regulated power supply dear friends in order to draw the or in order to enter the labels we have to go to top layer and select the text and write the text here we can write as 12 volt rps regulated power supply plus or minus 12 volt regulated power supply once we write this yes we can change the text here plus or minus this is 12 volt plus or minus 12 volt click okay yeah this is going to appear in the top layer if you want to add text in the bottom layer just simply go to bottom select here at a, as a bottom assembly select as bottom assembly remember this bottom assembly now select text and place text here and type whatever you want i am going to type it as rps yeah we are done with this naming and labeling now it's time to take its print out in order to get its print out simply go to preview and here we can see that both the bottom layers as well as the top layers are going to appear if you want to look at the top layer select on the top layer this is the the top layer how it looks if you want the print out of bottom layer simply go to bottom yes this is the print this is the layout of plus or minus 12 volt power supply don't select any flip text and negative here click on print black in print in black only click print once you print this then you can go for the fabrication of pcb using thermal method this is all about plus or minus 12 volt regulated power supply thank you